something I've ordered from Creating Craft. I'm dead excited. I'm hoping it's going to be as good as it looked on the videos that I've watched. It's from Tonic Studios. I'm from Creating Craft. Roughly about the same price on Amazon. But I don't think it's available on, on Amazon. It wasn't available on Creating Craft for a while. And then it came back on. So I think it's a bit hard to get hold of if you know what I mean so let's have a look let's chuck this away first impressions it's quite heavy it's 8.5 inches or 22 centimeters it says it caught cuts a torn edge up to 8.5 or 22 so that is the actual size that you can trim so let's get it out of the package I'm quite shocked it's not bubble wrapped or anything. Right, now then, let's see what we've got. Sorry about that, just need the camera. Right then. It's quite nice, nice and um, quality plastic, hard plastic. It's not like flimsy or cheap. We've got markings at the top. Quite good actually, we've got centimeters and mil so that's really good and then we've got inches quarter inches and eights and sixteenths by the looks of it that's really good i'm really impressed with that sometimes you have to be accurate don't you with some things so yeah so very good big uh, metal bolt on the back some little rubber feet not very big feet though you know i'm a bit surprised about that um but we'll see seems to stay put anyway so let's open him up well that's a that is quite a quite a good um cut by the looks of it it looks like as well it's what they said it was on the um video i watched tim holt and tim holt said that it's an actual the two blades are cut so that they lock in like, like that together so that you know that explains why it's um so good i suppose that doesn't come up any higher so that's quite good this looks like it lifts a fraction but it doesn't come up at all you know completely i think it just lifts up just to get your paper under so right let's go in with some card i'm going to see if i can cut the narrowest of edges because that's the idea of this putting yourself a nice edge on your papers and if you're working with a sort of certain width paper you don't want to be chopping big chunks off so let's see if i can chop off a couple of mil that's good i was a bit concerned you know because it was crunching i thought oh, am i gonna break it ah right so we have a very fine snippet there a couple of mil it's took off yeah two mil i'm quite impressed with that and the edge can you see it's very uh very nice edge it's not like the same all the way down it's it's different all the way that's what they said in the tutorial that i watched that it's not a repeat like you would with your scissors and most um trimmers they're just a repeat of the same thing aren't they you know the edges frilly edges and stuff but this is properly it looks like it has been really sort of torn but all right okay you might say why don't you just tear your paper but i think when we tear our paper you don't get a nice edge you get all this fluffy stuff and you don't you can't really tear card can you if you try to tear that you'd end up tearing into the layers and then you'd end up with all that white stuff and then you've got to pick it off if you don't want loads of white plus you can never get a straight line can you you know it's more hassle You'd have to fold it or score it. So for me, I think that's 
great. I'm just going to see what it's like with music paper because it's a different sort of thing again. You know, it might snag it or rip it. I don't know. Um, let's try and get that edge there leveled up with the sort of, um, you know, the music lines. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Wow, yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah, same again. Clean as a whistle. No. Right, I'm dead excited now. I just want to keep chopping. Keep chop, chop, chopping. I'm going to be chin all night now. Just cutting my paper. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, the thing is, if you was to... Let's just quickly see if I can just sort of get a similar edge with a tear. I don't think I can. You'd get like an edge for sure. You'd get a torn edge. But I don't think it'd be as pretty. Let's have a look. Um, I don't know which way is the best way to tear from. Yeah, that's tearing okay, but you know you've got to be careful because you you end up tearing the wrong bit sometimes. You know, like when you fussy cut, you don't want to fussy cut. You want to tear around your flowers and stuff, and it is awkward. Yeah, you get like a bit of a fluffy, you know, where the paper's, uh, where the paper's been sort of uh, compromised. You get like the fibres, you know, and when you're inking up, that can be a bit of a pain to try and get a bit of colour on or because the fibres just soak up the ink and then you don't get much, it sort of sinks in and disappears. But maybe with that nice crisp edge, You'll get a better inking so we'll see about that right let's just have a look now the main reason why i got this is so that i can cut out edith holden's poems to put into my journal that's why I got it. and i've been eagerly waiting for it to come and it come this morning so i'm really chuffed right i'm going to drop that there that's great. See now that was really nice, real nice edge. Instead of having, um, you know, your torn edge. Oh, that's lovely. I think I've still got the words on there. I should have checked that really. I think it's okay. And another thing as well, you could cut yourself quite a few strips. Oh, right, let's have a look. I have to hold that down. Yeah, right. It's the only thing I might have to poke him out rather than grab it just in case I end up snagging myself. See, look at that. You could do some nice strips of crafting. I'm going to see if I can get a strip off this. I'm going mad now. I'm being daft. Right, I'm poking that right in. I'm gonna, it's just me being inquisitive. Oh. Hey, yeah. Look at that. It's I took nothing off. Literally a wisp. Look at that. A hair. It's literally took a hair off. You could use all your little tiny strips, couldn't you, to do some collaging with that. That's amazing. I love it. So far, I'm absolutely loving this. I think it's well worth the money. It was $29.99 on the Create and Craft show, but I got it for $24.70 because I'm in the Create and Craft Club. Just going to do one more for you. This is like delicate um, book page, which does tear really nicely, but I just want to see if she's going to go through and cut this as crisp because it being a delicate book page it might not be crisp this is almost like tissue this paper yeah that has gone through gorgeous look at that yeah, done it again wow that is amazing look at that it's took a mill off i am really impressed with this We'll see how it holds up. 
look at that. I'm gonna push that out. That's great. That is absolutely fabulous. We can use all our scraps. So you wouldn't drink, you'd chuck them away, wouldn't you? Well, I mean, I don't. I sometimes stick mine in strips. But that to do that, that is just gorgeous. And I love the way it's done that. Because if you was to tear normal and just tear, yeah, it tears easy enough. It's not a pattern. It's not fancy like that. So, yeah, great stuff. Let me get off and I'm going to come back with another little opening of some bits that I've ordered from Amazon so we'll see you real soon take care bye